Occasionally, when I'm not feeling so well, I'm a little bit down, I'm having a bad day, maybe I got a cold, I just want to transform into Usher, have a little jolt of Usher in my life. Get a couple of, of dance moves out on stage, one of the hat grabs, one of the spins, you know, maybe maybe after hours, just steal his body away the second Usher has an orgasm, and then I turn back into myself. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, what happens to Usher? Basically, Usher's soul goes to a limbo state between heaven and hell, kind of a terrifying sort of like absence of anything where he has to sort of occupy that space for a few minutes while I get to be him. And frankly, that's all right because I think Usher could deserve to be taken down a couple of notches. I'd be able to have uh, instant diarrhea in order to get out of uh, a troublesome situation. Say like uh, I was about to get in a fight, I could just instantly diarrhea myself, diarrhea everywhere in order to escape. Leave him going, did that guy just get diarrhea all over the place? But the other cooler part of the, the power would be that once I make my escape, done. The mess would be gone. You don't have to like retreat to like a Starbucks bathroom or anything. Man, definitely flying. You could just see all the shit that's going on. Although, I would probably have to have flying in conjunction with like Wolverine's super healing powers because I get really easily distracted. Oh, isn't that the building that... And I slam into some other building and then instead of sliding down like a big bloody pulpy mess, I would need to be able to heal myself almost instantly so I could just be like, ay ay and you know, let's go to fucking Olive Garden. <laughs> I would love the power to just step into movies. Whatever is on TV, I can just think about it and I go inside. And it's not just movies or TV I could travel into, just any video. I could go into an internet video, I can go into this video and meet the animated version of myself and shake my hands and admire how good looking my animated self is. And then we start making out and it gets weird. Good luck animating this one, Dan. <laughs> I'd want to be able to shrink down to microscopic proportions. Apparently when you get down to like billionths of a trillionths of a, you know, infinitesimal distance scales, I imagine just the craziest fun house ever. Equations flying through the air and like grids and portals and stuff, it's like, it's kind of like Tron. We ride light beams, um, occasionally photons. You wrangle up the quarks because they're kind of like the cattle of the subatomic world. And then that's like pure energy, you just eat that for dinner. I'd like to come money. Yeah. Come money. Because my priorities are keeping my family safe, uh, namely my daughter, Lily, I would have to say that I would just need the ability to discern whether or not someone was a good person or a bad person or say, you know, not of this earth if we're going to get all happy to that And I have to let him know that if you were to jumbo make this a jumbotron situation where you have to address the public, that this is, this is something that I need to approve, that I need to be the doctor of, that I need to be there for, and that my daughter needs to help me out of this. And this is the issue. I think we're all superheroes. And you know, we can wish, we can dream, we can be, we can see, we can free, and we can three. But the reality of the situation is, none of us have the ability to do what we want to do, except in our imaginations.